Good evening. My name is Sylvia, and I see physics everywhere. 2015 is the International Year of Light, so let's talk about light and all its colors. But first, something curious. Water is transparent, right? Yet, when we add soap to it, and use it to make soap bubbles, colors appear. How is this possible? Well, we should remember that we are looking at them in white light. That is a mixture of many colors. You can see them in a rainbow. Each of those colors corresponds to one wavelength of white light. Most of the things that we see around us are not like this. They appear colored because they contain pigments molecules that absorb more of some wavelengths and reflect more of others. So the colors depend on a whole distribution of wavelengths. Physicists call this a spectrum. Back to the soap bubbles. Without pigments, where do their colors come from? Well, when light hits a bubble, it may reflect from the outer surface, or it may go through the transparent layer and reflect from the inner surface. So there are two reflected rays of white light. And the wavelengths in them, well, some will be in sync, enhancing that part of the spectrum. And others will be out of sync, cancelling that part. So the color of soap bubbles doesn't depend on pigments, but on the physical structure the thickness of the layer. And we can use this in a lab to measure tiny thickness variations in thin transparent films like oxides or synthetic diamonds. There are many more optical techniques that use white light, but also infrared and ultraviolet wavelengths to determine the physical structure and the chemical composition of many materials. In fact, we use the same physical principles to figure out the composition of stars which are able to emit their own light in a specific spectrum. So yes, physics really is everywhere, from soap bubbles to distant galaxies.